Hello everyone, I, um, I've been having a couple of requests about your assignment. Um, first of all, some of you are saying that it's too much to do. Get used to it. I do it all the time. It's a major complaint I have on my courses that uh, there's too many assignments. I do them for you to learn in a practical way. That's that's the purpose of it. I, I never do anything without thinking why I do it. It's not to annoy you, it's for you to practice. I know sometimes some of you just read the material or see the material but you don't practice. So that's the purpose of it. Okay. Now it's not too long actually, it's just uh, adequate. If you feel it's too long then I'll, I'll reconsider because I understand that you have to do other assignments as well, maybe for other classes. But, uh, but so far uh, we will continue. Anyways, um, Sorry if I'm talking like this, but some of you complain also that the sound is not very good. So I'm trying my best. Sorry, my voice is not too loud, but I, I'll try my best, okay? So anyways, uh, a uh, most of you are freshmen. You really don't know how to research. You don't know how to do assignments at the academic level, at university level. So I'm going to go through some points to explain very quickly and very easily how you have to do it and what's the best way to do it, because most of you still don't know how to do it. Okay, so first of all, um, if you get, as you can see here, um, I put the post-it note. So first of all, before answering your questions, I mean, of course, read your questions, understand what is requested out of you. So in this case, for example, I say explain on your own words, meaning I don't want definitions, right? I don't want a copy-paste definition from your Wikipedia. Please avoid that. Second thing, uh, a, so what is big data? So I really want you to know, I always say to my students, um, explain to me, like if you were going to explain your mom, your mom asks you, hey son, what's big data? And you're going to say, oh mom, it's like, mm, there's a lot of information created from clicking or looking at your phone and that information is collected and then someone l looks at it, makes some conclusions out of it and uses it for X reason. So that's what I want you to do, right? And then how the study of statistics helps to interpret big data. So in this case, uh, we we saw an overall just a video of the first one of what really could be statistics, and and then that's it, right? So this this question is looking more for your understanding. However, the more you read, and I go back to point number one, right? If you read a couple of articles, then of course, you will have a much bold answer, right? This is what happens if I ask you, okay, how would you build, uh, how would you, <laughs> how would you assemble a bicycle? So on your own words, you can tell me, yeah, first I have to put the frame, I have to put the tires and probably the chain and that's all, right? No big deal. But if I ask you how to do it technically, then you have to research. Well, I need this wrench, I need this size frame, I need these tires, I need these wheels, and you become more and more and more and more detailed about it. So this is precisely what we do in research. We really need to read, because if I ask for what you know already, that doesn't work very well. So you have to collect data anytime that you read something. Copy some of the short things, open an independent document, and copy those thoughts from somewhere that you think that might be useful for you. We are not academics, well, you are not academics, and you don't know sometimes how to express in a very fancy way what you're thinking. So these authors from some websites, they help you in that. So that's what you will try to rephrase, you will have to rethink, and then uh, you will collect from two or three, four sources, and then of course your answer is going to be much better. Okay, so that is what I mean with number two collecting your date okay I am here huh? just in case you're not following through that's collect data think critically okay why how why did I reach this conclusion is it the only source is there a better source yeah we're very used to just click the first Google link and that's it nope go through better sources use Google Scholar Google Scholar is a very good uh, tool for you that you should be using all the time. Here I'm going to add it on. Or books. 
that's a very good approach, right? It takes you longer time, but your answers are good as well. Okay, now, so when he went to that one, like I said, think critically. Already went through that. Then you go to the planning and structuring your answer. What really you want to achieve out of that answer? So first I'll go to explaining what is a big data, then I'm going to put some of my thoughts, and then I'm going to close with this mindful uh, thought. You can always use criticism. You can say, well, I think that big data is in a very early stage, but however, we are moving little by little. Based on this author, he says that we still years away from really using it uh, for every purpose, right? So that is how you plan and structure your answer. And then finally, I mean, once you have written and done all your, all your answers, make sure you proofread them at least two times. What is a common mistake is that many of you, um, they give you an assignment, you write it, you think it's perfect, you submit it, and let me ask you this, sometimes after six months you go and read it again and you're like wow this is a piece of rubbish what because you didn't proofread it you realize there's mistakes there's grammar mistakes there's structure mistakes there's a lot of things that don't make any sense or because you gain more knowledge or you read more about that certain topic you realize that what you were saying it was just nonsense right so make sure again that you proofread you add some ideas you make sure that is very very bold okay Make sure you do your proofreading on different days. When your mind is tired, you think it's doing very well. Space out one day to come back, read it again, and you'll see the difference of it. Okay? Very good. So those are the technical areas of how to answer your questions. Now, let's go a little bit into the questions as well. So um, question number one is, is explain on your own words. That's what I want you. Now, provide examples of how statistics, statistics and big data are useful on the following fields. We have some examples on the B, you can use those examples, but you can always look more. So we can see how, for example, how machinery is working with big data or perhaps artificial intelligence, how it works with data, simulates it, assimilates it creates statistics, etc. Products or services, what is, what is a product? How can it be better? So for example, the use of your phones, the use of your phones is better. What? Because of data. They collect, companies collect data. So in this case, you can think of any technological product and you can think, okay, so Google it, uh, Google how, how Google, for example, uses data to make, a, to make better. The same thing in certain businesses, Google, which, which companies are the best companies using big data and then of course like i said here you start to collect data you start to read and then of course this leads you to get a more critical answer right rather than just using your your own words and what you kind of understand be smart follow someone else's uh writings advice on the way they do it okay and so on so we continue with this one's technology business employment for example linkedin and you look at linkedin we can see that that, that is a tool for, for employment people is using it people now know about companies in advance and of course e linkedin reads all the information of all the employees they try to make an assessment of what employers are needing or what employees are looking for and then they come up with better solutions for you to look for a job right and well then so i so on with the economy and society right it, now, now for for society, that's this. We're we're at a point of time where society gets a high benefit of, of um, of uh, big data because actually in Korea we're handling the coronavirus problem with big data. So that could be a good example. Now, uh, as a business professional, what implications to your career? So I want you to go to the, like for example, your your job search engines and search big data or statistics or data mining look within those lines whether what kind of jobs are requesting you to have this kind of knowledge so you'll start to realize that for example many of the jobs require you to know how to use excel 
Why? Because you're going to be looking at numbers. Why? Because you need to statistics. You always need some of the main areas of statistics, which is what's the largest number, what's the smallest number, what is in between, what is the middle, how does it deviate from the middle. Those are the things that we'll be looking to. Okay? Very good. So that is, in general, your assignment. Uh, I will provide some feedback. I already received some assignments. Uh, someone was mentioning to me, like, oh, Professor, why should I bother if it's only 1% of my final grade? It's 1%, but it's 10 weeks. That means it's 10%. That means if you don't do because you don't feel like it, it's okay, don't do it. But in the end, like I said, I'm taking your attendance, first of all, that's 1%, and that's the assignment is 2%. So technically, you're fighting every week for a 20% of your final grade. And that makes between a difference between an A plus and a C. And then that is where it's important, right? So again, this 1% is worth a lot. Also, sometimes, and I see it very often, comes end of the semester, you got an 89 and you need a 1%. And you say, should, I should have done that assignment, which gives me that A or that B plus or that A plus, but you don't have it. So again, it looks minimal, but it's the sum of all your efforts which will draw you that 20 extra percent. Okay, again, make sure you do it. And uh, well, if you have any other questions, please let me know. I once we do the closing of this week assignment, I will provide some feedback on the answers and so on. So I'll show you what is the model answer. Okay, thank you so much. Stay safe and, uh, well, have a good weekend.